go guys we are changing the ball joints and this beloved little beast heck yeah I really know what I'm gonna do, but uh, Timmy called it out because it's been raining for literally three days straight, and today and we don't really have anything to do in here, so everything's outside. So I really thank Timmy for that because I hate working in the rain. It sucks and everything. Guys, just listen to this thing. Woo! All right, I'm done. I'm done. Calm down. I'm done. I'm done. Jeez. Kid can't play with his muscle car. Dang, that windshield whopper about whacked me in the face. Not getting the far out of me. All right, so we're gonna be waiting for Miss Paris to get here, and she's gonna help me do this. How, how about that, guys? She's gonna be back at the shop, well, when she can, and then helping me. I'm excited. Woo! God dang, I love this car so much. You have no idea. Honestly, since I don't really have anything else to do, I'm thinking about just trying to buff it, you know? I might actually just try and buff the car. I might just stay here and do this all day because I ain't got nothing else to do. Because, yeah, but I put that water pump back on that little Ford, wherever the heck that thing is, Taurus thingamajig. I don't know what it's called, but... Guys, yeah, let's, let's look how clean this engine bay is. What a focus they go, but... I can sit here and see how my hands are. Like, I can sit here and just wipe around this and that. And then... <laughs> I got a little bit of dust on my hand, but I mean, come on. It has like 140,000 miles, but come on, guys. Look at that. Look how clean this thing is. Let me turn my flash off. Yeah, just look how clean that thing is. I mean, no oil absolutely anywhere. There's a little antifreeze right there. Is that antifreeze? Ooh. Hang on a second. Where's that water pump at? Hmm. My hot pot noose is saying that's green. Now, figure out why it's a green. Let me take this off. Oh, she's still full. That is something I'm gonna have to look into. I mean, the overflow is going to go right back into the radiator. So, I don't see why that is green. Oh, oh, I know why. You guys know the car wash, them uh, little glossy things that are like foam? Uh, I do a little bit of TikTok, like just for something cool. I like doing it. But, uh... That's what that is. Dang, that gave me a little scary. I thought I was going to have to put a water pump on this thing or some lines or something. Like I said, guys, this thing is super clean. I mean, it's dusty and everything, but, I mean, what do you expect for 150,000, or not 150, like 115,000 miles? I mean, seriously, that is not bad at all. In my opinion, this thing looks awesome, immaculate for how many miles it has on it. I've seen a bunch of cars with these that many miles on it, and they are in pretty rough shape. This thing's about pretty darn perfect, let me tell you, other than the freaking ball joints. Um, but we're going to wait for Miss Paris to get here. And I'm going to go over here and get the uh, the little puller that pulls the thingamajigs out, and then we're going to get to it. All right, so while I'm on this side grabbing a beloved tool, uh... This is the water pump. So the water pump goes right there. There's bolts all around it, which is kind of annoying. There's the, looks like the crank sensor. Uh, I would recommend unplugging that, but I guess someone has already put a water pump on this thing and broke that little clip that you push. But here's the motor mount. It looks like it's gonna need a motor mount, honestly. But I mean, this thing's a three cylinder. It ain't like it's pushing thousand foot pound of torque. So I don't think that's a big issue, but as you can tell, that's where it was leaking down and then it went down. But these are super easy. I just took this and I lifted it up out of the way because I really didn't want to unhook all of the 
power steering stuff. I didn't hurt anything. Right there is a rubber line. See it? Like right there below the yellow one. I won't focus on it, but. And this right here turns like it swivels around in there, which is supposed to do that. And like nothing's hurt, nothing's bent, everything's good. So I just moved it out of the way. But just be careful when you do move it out of the way. You know, just look at everything while you're moving it and make sure you don't bend nothing or that. But I did not bend anything, so it's good. Got all the water hose. I think this goes to the radiator. Uh, this one right here goes to your heater cool. And this one goes to the bottom of your uh, thingamajig, your uh, reservoir. And then I'm glad I didn't have to take that sucker off down there. Like right there. That was sucked. But, I mean, so that goes to the bottom of your radiator this thing goes with overflow yeah it's pretty simple pretty easy it's just like i said on my last video guys you gotta love what you're doing for it not to be work oh yeah here's the water pump look at this sucker bearings are shot shot but we're gonna grab one of these beloved pullers right here now, this is exactly what it looks like Exactly. I'm gonna take this over there just in case. But yeah. Looky there. Even before I could thank twice, Napa from Madisonville has already brought us the water new water pump. Look at that. Whoop. There she is. New water pump. How cool is that? How to install. We are men, so we don't use that. We just go along as it goes. And be a man about it and then you don't have to use that but anyway here's the beloved tools that i was looking for no that's that that's not it it's around here somewhere just give me a second i gotta find it i don't do ball joints is uh ball joint and u joint There it is. That's the thing that presses them out. Sweet. There she is. Look there. So this thing goes over that and this and that. All right, so Paris is finally here after like an hour. So I'm here you go. sleeping. Take off the tires. Take them off. We did it, huh? She's like, what is that? Make sure they're on there all the way. What, tighten them? No, you're, looking, you're taking the ones off. Mm -hmm. There you go. Take it all off. Good job. I can't get it in. See? You don't fit. Oh, Maybe it's just me. Yeah, the problem is you. Everything looks so easy. <laughs> there you go. I swear you make everything look just so gotta easy. Gotta be a man about it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take the tire off. off. Should this mm -hmm. come off? Just pull it. Hang on a second. I'm gonna take it off. There you go. Let's roll it over there out of the way. You next to that truck. There you go. Ooh, that's good. It don't matter. Huh? It don't matter. Here we go. Looks like I might need some rotors eventually. Then we're getting kind of missed. So. We're going to need to replace that beloved little thing right there. So what we're gonna have to do is take that nut loose right there. And then this thing should slide out. Yeah. 
Let's take that nut off right there. This one? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Don't lose it. And this metal plate slides off. You can side your way. And then you're going to take these off right there. Those nuts. Okay. So you said just put these off? Or yeah, those two nuts. Alright, there you go. Take it off. All right. Alright, now Wait, I'll do the bottom one. Now I'll do the bottom one. Okay, there we go. You got it? Take it. Take it off. Mm -hmm. Good. Good job. Yeah. Good job, babe. Now, take these things out. What? Fuck it. Little hammer. Here, you got to tie it Now I can take that nut off and then slide the hub off and then I'm probably gonna have to take this brake thing off real quick. It's really easy, it's just two bolts, no big deal. And then take that nut off and then I'll be able to get this hub out of the way. Gotta take this little sensor off too, not a big deal. So let's get to it. And the other one's probably going to be. How'd you tell me to lift it again? Huh? How'd you tell me to lift it again? No, just don't. I think it was like. I'll just turn it. Okay. It's going on. What, what size is that? Go. Actually, I'm not even have to take that off. So let me do this real quick. Might not. Let me try it.
All right, so I got the block right here surfaced because the darn gasket stuck on that. So this darn little piece of junk right here, but we have the brand new water pump right here. Look at this sucker spin. Look how tight that is. That feels amazing versus this. That and then that. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to put the bolts in, tighten it up, then put the pulley on. We're gonna see how that works. It might work, it might not work. We got the new gasket in the back. Like I said, I already prepped the block and I'm gonna throw a little bit of Permatex on there just in case because I like Permatex and I definitely don't wanna do this again. I don't know about y'all, but I do not wanna do this again. So we're gonna Permatex it, get everything tight and send this thing on its way. I'll tell you what, these freaking belts on these things are ridiculous. I just spent the last 30 minutes trying to get the dang thing on. Like, what the heck is going on? But anyway, got the belt on. Everything's on except the reservoir, which, yeah, I got to put that on. I don't know if you're right about that. But anyway, I got to put the reservoir on and then put this uh, underpiece back on and then fill it up with antifreeze. And this thing's ready to go. Finally, this thing thing's out of here. I'm sorry, guys, but if any of you, you have like a... Uh, what these things a ford taurus if you if, if any of y'all have a ford taurus and you come here and then you need something worked on it i'm sorry but i might just have to send you on your way dude because like golly bum i hate it it's with a passion i don't understand why everything's got to be so tight but look how small the darn motor is you know what i mean like everything's so freaking tight but the motor is literally a foot long like what in the world I don't get it. I really don't. I mean, I understand there's a transmission under there and everything, but oh, it'll just drive you insane. But I'll put that reservoir on real quick. Alrighty, finally got it done. Aggressive. You can't handle this power. You I know. That Mustang power. I'm nervous. Oh, Front wheel drive and everything. Off that Let's run them right now. Pull it out there. Let's do it. <laughs> oh snap we're about to race so we got the mustang <clears throat> we ended up changing the tie rod end and the ball joint because uh the ball joint wasn't the one that was squeaking but it the rubber piece was messed up so it was on its way going out i mean it looked very very good but it just didn't have that rubber piece on it so i decided you know i already had it so why not just go ahead and change it but, so, we got that fixed. The dang thing is finally not squeaking. Like, you don't even know how, I don't even, I don't even know how to describe it. I really don't. Like, I'm just so happy that it's not squeaking now. So, we got that done. Uh, we got Bob's little Taurus, that piece of junk done. I call it a piece of junk because of how tight everything is, especially the belt. But... Another thing, when you put in a water pump on one of those, you have to put the pulley on first. I learned my lesson, and it sucked. Like, I put it on, put all the bolts, tighten all the darn bolts up and everything, and then I tried to put the pulley on, and I was like, oh, it, it was just dumb. I would have to take off air conditioner line, this and that, or an AC line, just to get the dang pulley on. So I was like, whatever. Like, I don't have any of uh, the gas, so I was like, all right, I'm just going to take the dang thing off, put the pulley on, put it right back on, which it sucked a lot. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we didn't do very much, but I really, like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really hope to see you guys on more of my videos. And if you guys enjoyed it, like to like and subscribe. And if you guys didn't, then don't. It's up to you, but have a good night.